Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at another flashlight. Uh, this one was sent to me from Sam at Rovivon uh, for me to do a review on. So I did not pay for this. This was sent in. I'm super excited to check it out. It's got a lot of my favorite elements on it. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Rovivon A8. Let's get into it. So I am a new con convert to the Rovivon line. Uh, I picked up my first Rovivon not too long ago, the A2 in stainless, and I'm a fan. Uh, the UI was a little bit difficult at first after I played with it a little bit. It, it's not so bad. That was that was about my only complaint was the UI when I first got the light. But once you once you fiddle around with it a little bit, it's it's not so bad. Um, and I, you know, I love the packaging for the Robivons. I love these little plastic cases because they are, they are reusable. You can use them for a lot of things. Here's that giant <laughs> user manual. Um, just going to open it up, pause if you want to read any of this. So here you go. This gives you some of the, some of the quick specs on it. So we are IPX6, so plenty of waterproofing there. Um, it does have a charging indicator, breathing blue whenever it's charging, green whenever it's fully charged, uh, full charge time, about an hour, and it's got a 330 milliamp battery. That is not removable as far as I'm aware. Uh, and then this particular light has white, UV, red, and an amber light, I believe. Yeah, amber, there it is. So, very, very cool. Two-way pocket clip. I'm just kind of shimmying through this. Um, there's our run times, I'll get into that. Uh, and we'll do, some, we'll do some night shots and I will compare it to the A2. Although I think it is gonna be pretty similar because it, uh, as, in terms of normal flashlight, because uh, I believe this one is 650 lumens. Yes, yes, 650 lumens. Okay, so let me uh, let me get some of my stuff here for like size comparisons and whatnot. All right, so here is your Rovivon packaging. Very, very nice. There's the A8. I'll make sure I link this stuff down in the description below so we can check it out. So, uh, the one they sent me, I believe this is the 6500K. Uh, that's the link that he sent me anyways for the 6500K. This is cool. I like the clear. Interesting. I don't think I have any clear lights yet. Like clear plastic body or polymer or whatever the construction is. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else in the bar? Okay, yeah. So we've got a split ring, magnetic tail cap, and looks like an extra um, gasket for the charging port. So that is cool. This should also have, yeah, this looks like this has the magnetic pocket clip as well. Uh, model number, date of purchase, what does this say? Uh, certificate, oh, COA. Nice. Okay. And a little, okay, unlock before first use. Rapid click five times. And uh, that's for locking and unlocking is the rapid click five times. I'll put this little guy in the corner right here. I've been doing that. I've been kind of enjoying having it there. <laughs> I don't know why. It feels more official. Oh, man. Um, I've been looking at so many flashlights lately. Uh, but uh, Rovivon... Uh, tends to be one of those that since I haven't really had a lot of them um, I've been I've been pretty impressed uh, I've really I've really enjoyed the Roby Vons lately uh, okay so you can carry this a lot of ways uh, so you can see here you've got different notches uh, I tend to carry lens up so I'll put this uh, let's see we'll go for somewhat of a deep deep carry there we go 
and there. Okay, clicked into place. All right, so that would be a pretty deep, pretty deep carry. Uh, this, oh man, this pocket clip is. This is strong. <laughs> That's a good clip. I appreciate that. Uh, for size wise, we are at uh, just at two and a quarter inches. Um, and then if I put this next to the Robivon A2, they stick right together because, you know, magnets, science. Um, so there you go. You can see they are basically the same size. Uh, this guy has a little bit more of a bezel on the top by the LED. There we go. Makes them just a hair longer. All right, so let's see. Baton 3. These magnets are going everywhere. Baton 3. There you go. I'm just going to do a couple of lights that are... I'm going to try not to get this too close that it just sucks it up to it. Um, there's your i5R. And here is an i3T. Just to give you an idea of size, um, I'll throw in a, uh, where is it? Um, oh, there he is. Here is another AAA flashlight. This is the drop. AAA, there you go. So that Roe Vaughn, it really, the size, the carry profile is, uh, they're excellent. I mean, <laughs> there you get you get so much with these little lights um all right so like i said mine 6500k i believe that's the one like i said that's the link that they sent me uh this is 650 lumens it still has the momentary on but the cool thing about this is if you can see in here we've got the different leds so you've got your your amber your red and your uv so I am super stoked about the UV light. I love the UV, but I also like red. So the red light's gonna be cool. These run about 50 bucks on Amazon. Uh, 40, I think it's like 47. After taxes, you'll be pushing about 50. Uh, there is your charging port right here. Easily accessible. Uh, like I said, it is IPX6 rated. So that gasket does cover that little, uh, the little charging port there you go you can see i've got the breathing blue and then if i left this charging that would turn green and then i would know that this is fully charged so i appreciate any kind of charging indicators um especially if you do uh, uh like any of the olights i love olight but a lot of times it just doesn't turn green when it's when it's done charging so is this thing okay so what we'll do is we'll pretend we're in lockout mode to begin with so one two three four five all right so see how it just blinks when i press it that lets me know i'm locked out and then if i click it five times one two three four five oh there we go and then i get the triple blink to let me know i'm out of lockout all right so we're gonna try to uh we're gonna try to fiddle our way through this so a couple things that are going to be the same is going to be momentary. So with it off and out of lockout mode, press and hold, and that will take us to our high mode. That'll be our 650 lumens. So uh, to get to that from just normal and you know not doing the momentary by just clicking and holding like this, you can double click, and then that actually turns us to our you know our actual flashlight. So from there, once I just do a normal click, that will cycle us through all the different modes. I know you can barely see it on there, but that will cycle through all the different modes. And let me see, I'm trying to get run times here. Um, 600, okay, 6,500K. I have all the all the specs <laughs> but but they're they're a little different depending on the bright uh the color temperature of the light so here is moonlight uh moonlight is half of a lumen and you'll get about 72 hours of runtime with that so if we click it one time that is your 20 lumens for eight hours and then medium is 150 lumens for one minute and then it will step down and you'll get two hours. And then if we click one more time, we are on high, which is 420 lumens. 
Oh, you know what? I read I read that wrong. <laughs> oh, I still had everything everything lined up. So, um, oh man. Uh, okay, moonlight half a lumen seventy two hours low for the sixty five hundred k. It got my notes mixed up. Twenty five lumens for eight hours. <laughs> Medium is two hundred lumens for one minute. And then uh, it says plus two hours. So like I said, I'm I'm guessing there's a step down there to get the two hours. And then your high is 650 lumens for one minute uh, plus the one and a half lumens. And I, I believe that's from a step down. And then if you click again, you just cycle all the way through. Yeah, I have I have some Roby Vaughn notes wrote down because I am... Um, I have my other Roby Vaughn, but I have some other Roby Vons that I may or may not have on the way and uh, <laughs> I have everything just kind of wrote down so yeah it didn't mean to mix up the color temperatures so what we'll do is we will run outside real quick and then we will um, get some night shots of this and then I'll see you back at the table all right I've only got a couple lights to show uh, we're just gonna do a couple comparisons here real fast um, First up, we're going to do, let me see, which ones I have in my hand. Uh, so first up, we're going to do the A8 uh, momentary. Here we go. And then we'll, of course, when I let go, it shuts off. If I double click, here we go. So we're going to start off on Moonlight. And then we'll go to Low. Medium high and if you can see that fence out there um, that's right about 35 yards so we'll go back to low and then let me pull out the a2 and we can see the difference here so we've got a8 on the right and a2 on the left so we'll go up to this is your moonlight we'll go up to medium or excuse me, low. <laughs> I'm still waking up. Medium. High. And then back down to moonlight. And then here's your here's your high again. Okay. Switch this back to moonlight. So back on the A8 again. Here you go. You can see it. We shed a little bit of light on this situation. There you go. <laughs> um, so I figured what we can do here is next off we'll run the Vuitton 3. Just because we're going to use lights kind of of relative size. So Vuitton 3 on your left, A8 on your right. So we've got Moonlight. Up. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Okay. Then we'll crank it up. All right. My hands aren't working. <laughs> it's cold out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got two different flashlights in my hands that have two different modes of operation. <laughs> All right, so here we go. <laughs> Press and hold for the O light, and then click for the uh, for the Roby Vaughn. And my head just won't wrap around it. My brain won't let me. <laughs> All right. And then you can see that was all the modes, for the Olight. And then we'll go turbo. As you can see, that was all the modes for the Robivon. Low, medium, high. And turbo for the baton. There we go. And the last one I want to do, we we'll see we're back to moonlight um, on the A8. And the last one I want to do is... I have out a one of the newer ones, the i5R. 
So here we go. This is low on the i5R. Let me crank up the Rovivon here for a second. Come on. So here's high on the Rovivon. So we'll go high on the i5. There you go. You can kind of see what this guy does. And here, I mean, the Rovivon just washes out the i5 very easily. <laughs> All right, so that's it for those. Um, so what we'll do now is, here we go. So here is your white, your amber. You can see this thing does a relatively good job just lighting up the area. So we'll click it. Turn it up. There we go. That's that's a nice headlamp light. Like um, like if you had this clipped onto your hat, that's that's the way to do this. All right. So that's your your amber, and then we'll switch over to UV. There we go. You're not going to see very far out with this. <laughs> It's not, it's not super bright by any means, but here we go, UV light. And then if we switch to red, there we go. Here's your red light. Try to hold it above the frame so it doesn't look ridiculous on camera. <laughs> and then a little bit of a strobe warning. There you go. And then the last mode. And then we'll go back to UV. So there we are. Let's get back to the table. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, my Roby Bond sticker is all jacked up. There we go. Okay. So the only thing we really haven't looked at a whole lot is the extra lights. So these guys that I was showing at the very beginning... Which I mean, I I dig it. I'm I'm a fan. Um, so we'll go ahead and start off with the the white light. So to turn on the white, you're gonna triple click or excuse, quad click one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, triple click, and then here you go. You got your two different heights. There's your four clicks. And you can click again to cycle through the two brightness modes, which is cool. And then long press to turn that off. And triple click. I see I got them confused because there's there's three different variations of this. There's the A8U, A8UR, and then the A8Y. And on the A8U, you do three clicks for that white light. So like I said, the little, the Roby Vaughn stuff is new to me, so I'm kind of, I know I kind of fumble through it, but we're looking at the light, don't judge me, judge the light. <laughs> and thank you for hanging in there with me while I, uh, you know, while I do this. So, now, if we do our triple click, so one, two, three, there we go. And UV light, super cool. You can see here that if I shine this on this little um, diffuser it glows in the dark and I dig it I like it so um, the UV is super cool I like this I am not shining it in my eyes I'm away from the camera so there you go and now if I click this one time while it's on UV you get the super bright red um, now I'm going to give a little bit of a strobe warning here because we will go, once you cycle through the red, the next option is going to be red beacon and then red flash. So click again and then we have red beacon and then you have flashing. So this would be like your bicycle light or like an emergency light. Um, I mean, you could really do any of them. Click again, you're on your UV back to red. 
I gotta say, man, I, I, I like just how this light looks, like, just lit up red. <laughs> that, looks, that looks pretty awesome to me. Um, I, I dig it. I am, I am a fan. All right, so what am I missing here? Let me turn that off. Just press for half a second to turn it off. The only thing I didn't do here is we didn't get a handy dandy weight. 0.8 ounces. Super light. Super, super light. All right, move that out of the way. So, uh, this thing's a winner. I'm a fan of this. Uh, I like, I, I actually, I say I like, I love that this has a UV. Um, the, this, like I said, this, I was kind of, I was kind of curious about the construction of this light and how durable it would be. I, I read that it's just some kind of polycarbonate, um, but it feels, it feels sturdy. I can't, you know, I don't feel any weaknesses. I don't feel like I'm going to crunch it if I, if I really put some bear, like, you know, bear down on it or anything. Um, I like it, man. This, this feels nice. And the, you know, uh, do I have anything that might, uh, copper is, you know, uh, I don't, do I really not have anything metal on my, I mean, pfft, no, <laughs> I don't have anything metal around me, I guess. Nothing that it'll just stick to. Um, that's not like a flashlight. <laughs> This thing is sweet. Uh, I, I love the momentary on. Yeah, you can feel a little bit of heat, but it's, you know, it's super easy to use. So I, I'm a fan and I love, I'm starting to love the UI more and more because, you know, to turn it on, double click, press it again, cycle through the modes, long press to turn it off and then triple click to turn on your UV, click again to change it to red, hold again to turn off, four clicks to turn on your amber. I, I mean, it's it's getting easier. It's getting, it's getting, the first Rovivon I opened was intimidating because it was the first one that I got and the UI was a little complicated for me. In the beginning, uh, you know, Olight, I have a lot of Olights and Olight UIs are relatively easy. To manipulate so but at the end of the day i played with the other one for i don't know 30 or 40 minutes just fidgeting in my hand playing with the the buttons and i think i've got it down so this one was a lot easier i mixed up the lumens in the button and, uh, and the triple click and the quad click in the beginning but now that i know what it is i you know it's, it's just another flashlight again as far as manipulation goes so this thing is awesome thank you guys over at roby Vaughn for sending it in for me to do a review on i am definitely going to move it into rotation i will put a link in the description below if you'd like to go over there and check it out the guys at roby Vaughn are super nice super easy to work with um couldn't recommend them anymore you know they're they're great so thank you guys for being here if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and consider subscribing make sure to check back for future content and i'll catch you on the next one